Before trying something new, you need to test the technology first, and that's exactly what Lisa Pathfinder will be, a technology demonstration mission. It will become the first gravitational laboratory in space for fundamental physics, and it will test the technologies that will be needed to detect and measure gravitational waves. Gravity is the fundamental force of the universe. Uh, at the, the, the largest scales of talking about stars, galaxies, the universe, they are dominated by gravity. So we have to actually look at the ripples in space-time. We have to look at the effect of gravity over all of space. Gravitational waves from an exploding star, for instance, travel across the universe almost unimpeded, unlike light, which gets absorbed by gas and dust. When they pass through the Earth, they produce minute changes in the size of our planet, but only by about a millionth of the size of an atom, making them extremely difficult to measure. This means ensuring that any detector is isolated or shielded from all other forces which could disturb the measurement. And if you want to investigate gravity, you need something to fall. So inside Lisa Pathfinder, there will be two small gold platinum cubes in freefall. The aim is to show that something can be built that is free of all forces, except gravity, and is sensitive enough to measure the tiniest of movements caused by the passage of a gravitational wave. A precision micro-propulsion system with tiny thrusters will keep the spacecraft in perfect position. This way, for instance, it can oppose any solar radiation force, protecting the cubes from the external noise of the solar system. When Lisa Pathfinder proves this innovative technology, the next step will be another, much bigger mission, involving up to three spacecraft separated by five million kilometres, with cubes in each one. Measuring the distance between them and the gravitational waves that produce any changes in that distance will open a new window to our gravitational universe. Uh, Lisa Pathfinder is a first for ESA in that it's a mission looking into a new uh, science uh, altogether, a new way of doing astronomy. And this new era in space science, first predicted by Albert Einstein almost 100 years ago, will change forever how we see the universe around us.